This is our model 15T, 28-foot retriever. Uh, it's designed for tandem axle trucks. has a rated capacity of 30,000 pounds. Uh, this product has many features. One of the, the key features is the low deck height. Uh, this truck has about a 42-inch deck height, considerably less than you'd find on any competitive products. Uh, this particular unit uh, is equipped with, uh, of course, we've got an all-steel, high-strength steel headboard. Uh, this aluminum chain rack and tray is lockable, so they can carry lots of extra chains and binders uh, if they need them. Uh, we have a traverse mount of winch uh, that allows you to, to adjust the, the winch according to your load. If you have narrow equipment to load side by side, you can easily uh, adjust the winch cable to not uh, run into any other equipment. This also has uh, chain, chain, rack, chain binder storage rack on the front. Uh, this is a real convenience for the drivers. They really like it, keeps their binders handy. And it's, uh, it's, it's quick to use, quick storage, saves them a lot of time. Also have underbody chain storage boxes. We just carry the chains immediately under the deck. Uh, operator just pulls the chain out, hooks it, applies his binder, and he's good to go. When he's done, pull the chain out, drop it back in the box. It's out of the way, and uh, it's ready for the next use. Uh, this truck has uh, key slot tie down points uh, down the, every 17 inches down the side of the deck and also down the center of the deck, uh, which provides 140 tie down points over the, over the entire deck. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of places to tie down so they can get a good angle on the chain and they get their load properly secured no matter what it is. We use all stainless steel toolboxes uh, that will uh, last as long as, as long as the truck. Uh, unlike the painted boxes that are typically available on the market, they'll rust out in a few years. Our body is all so completely e-coated uh, primer to, for rust protection, then it's powder coated and, a, and the powder coat surface is baked on on top of that. It gives a very durable, long-lasting, good-looking finish. The deck is coated with a two-part epoxy, a very high solids epoxy uh, that's combined with aluminum oxide grit and it's, uh, they were told it's the same stuff they use on aircraft carrier decks. Very durable, provides excellent traction in wet conditions, um, much better than steel or wood uh, you would find on other trucks. The mechanics of the deck are very simple. It's simply hinged here. It's actually hinged forward of the axle. The advantage of that is that it reduces the overall length of the truck while still providing a very low load angle. Also, you notice the rear deck is, is it has a curved shape to it. That allows us to load very low ground clearance equipment without having to raise the rear deck uh, to clear the hinge line. It also aids in loading tracked equipment and can simply drive up over the curve without breaking over as you might typically see and come slamming down onto the deck. The, all the controls are in a, a lighted lockable sealed box so that they're, they're protected and uh, you can also lock it up so no one can tamper with your truck when you're when you're not using it. This truck also has uh, flashing side beacons. Uh, you'll notice down here. Uh, and those are excellent when operating in traffic at night. Uh, they light up the back of the truck and do will protect your driver. At the rear of the truck, we have a, a class seven receiver hitch. Uh, it's a two and a half inch size. There's also a reducing bushing for it for smaller hitch slugs. It's rated for up to 18,000 pounds. Uh, we provide electric, both air, electric and air trailer brake connections, and we also provide uh, an RV style trailer plug for the electric brake trailers and a round semi trailer style plug for the air brake connections. There's the dock bumpers on the, on the back of the deck, so when you do back up to a dock, you protect the dock and the truck both. Retriever is very simple in operation. Every, all the controls are in a, light, a lighted, lockable, sealed box, so they're well protected. To operate the deck, this is just simply release the safety catch for the, for the ramp. Ramp lowers entirely under air pressure. deck is, is locked for travel right now. Release the, release the deck locks. They're locked in place by the weight of the bed right now. We'll raise it up just a little bit to cause the deck locks to release. 
and lower to the ground. You're ready to load. To return it to the travel position, apply the deck locks, raise it up. You'll hear the lock snap in as you get to travel height. Raise the ramp. The ramp can be stopped at the vertical position if you have a fully loaded deck. That's just done by moving the stop into position. Raise the ramp up to the stop, and you're good. Bring the ramp all the way forward. Let's move the stop to the front front position. Ready to go. To go to loading dock position, release the deck locks, raise the deck to the height of the loading dock uh, that you're going to get to. So go up to 54 inches. Release the travel lock. Take the legs down, drop them in place, load this, and it's locked for, for the dock. It'll, it's rated for 40,000 pounds. The hand crank you see there will allow you to raise it another foot if necessary, or to adjust very precisely to a dock if you need to do that. To return it to the travel position, Raise it up, raise the deck up to take the weight off the dock legs. Release the extensions. Lock the extensions back in place. Again, take the weight off the dock legs. Switch the, the safety lock to the travel position. Take the dock leg into place. By the deck locks. You're good to go.